Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. And today we are going to create the story account and start learning. So this is the lab video and we'll definitely go ahead and talk about the options that we will get in between. Okay, so in the storage, uh, in the search bar, let's type storage accounts, click here, or you can do it from these three lines right here, click on storage accounts. Click on plus sign to create the new one. The source group, we all know what it is. Let's click the existing one. Storage account name, let me give it my name. It seems quite unique. Yes, it is. And now you see we have two options, standard and premium, the performance. So before we create the storage account, I think we should understand these two things, right? Then we also have account kind and replication. So uh, let's try to understand the performance tier first, and then we'll go ahead and understand the other options like account kind, replication, under networking we have private endpoint, public endpoint. Uh, if we go with the data protection, we have these options and advanced we have these many options. So let's try to cover as many as possible. So the very first is uh, standard and premium. Okay, so I have prepared a little slide to understand standard and premium. So let's follow the slide. So this is the slide that I have prepared to understand the performance tier. We know it was uh, standard and premium. And as the name says, we can uh, easily understand premium is for the premium workload. It would be expensive. It would be for the better performance as compared to standard. Let's try to dig it a little deeper. So uh, let's go to the next slide. These two tiers we have another slide. There is the difference that I have wrote a few things. Standard tier is backed by the magnetic drives and the premium one is with the solid state drives. And SSD always have a far better performance than magnetic drives. We all know that, right? So uh, the another one is the standard. The standard uh, performance is actually optimized for high capacity and high throughput on large data sets. However, premium is optimized for fast and consistent response. If you talk about the used cases, we have backup or disaster recovery data sets as the use cases for standard premium storage because it offers cost effective, cost efficient tiers, making it a perfect use case for both short term and long term DR data sets or backups or any compliance data archiving. If we talk about uh, premium, we have this use cases as interactive workloads. These workloads require instant updates and user feedback such as e-commerce and mapping application. To be precise, uh, just to give an example of interactive workloads, as I said, e-commerce, not everything is cached, right? So the things which are not cached, even though we want the instant uh, reply to a request, right? So if, uh, less frequently viewed items are, are, are instantly, instantly displayed to the customer on demand. That is interactive workloads. We need premium uh, performance. We need premium storage account for those kind of uh, use cases. For analytical purpose, we need uh, the, the premium performance if you're looking for instant analysis. For example, in case of IoT, IoT scenario, lots of smaller write operations might be pushed to the cloud every second. Large amounts of data might be taken in, aggregated for analysis purpose, and then deleted almost immediately the high ingestion capabilities of premium block blob storage 
make it efficient for this type of workload. Similarly, artificial intelligence and data transformation. We do have bulk data processing as it is uh, optimized for high throughput, right? And high capacity. So bulk data processing is one of the use case for which we use the standard uh, tier because it is cost efficient. Let's try, uh, uh, <clears throat> we do have both kind of workloads and uh, uh, different kind of workloads and as per the requirement, we choose standard or premium. However, for the productions and most of the workloads, which are very crucial, uh, Microsoft always recommends the premium. So let's try to understand premium a little more. So if we choose premium performance for block blobs, which are unstructured data like video and, and images, for to use premium performance, we're gonna use the block blob storage account. This is a different kind. There are various accounts that we can choose like general purpose V2, V1. Block blob storage is one of them, okay? And we were using premium for page for the VM disks, which is the page blobs from the very beginning. It wasn't for, for uh, uh, all the accounts, but now it is available for GP, V2 and V1 as well to store page blobs, right? So page blobs used for storing disk files for VMs and using premium SSD will give you best performance. And there is also a little twist in the cost if you're using, uh, using premium as a page blob, then you would be charged as per the size of the disk, not as per the amount of data you have in the disk. However, if you're using, uh, you know, uh, with standard, storage account, it is always the amount of data that you have. Now, premium performance can be used for both managed and unmanaged disk. However, you gotta use GPV2 and GPV1 to store page blobs, not the block one. Block blob would be used for the video and the images that is unstructured data. All right, hope this is clear. Now we can see the premium is more costly as compared to uh, this other cost that we have here, standard. Now, this is something that we need to understand. There are different uh, kind of kinds of storage account and what all support premium and what all do not. So GPV2 is the version two of general purpose, which has almost all the features with GPV1 and blob storage, supports standard and premium both. Same goes for GPV1. However, the premium is only for the disks. Yeah, that means page blob for the virtual machines. And block blob storage we just covered in the last slide, you can use premium. Nowadays, file storage is also for the premium, it was not earlier. And blob is for standard tiers. These are the account kinds. I'll, I'll show you in this uh, portal. So this is the uh, slides that I've prepared. Let me go back to, uh, I'm back to the create storage account and we were talking about standard and premium. We have account kind that I was talking about. V2, V1 and blob storage. If you choose premium, we have few more file block and these two. This is what we are talking about in the last slide. Okay, and even if you take your mouse here, it will say, it says standard story account are backed by magnetic drives and provide the lowest cost per GB. We, we all talked about all this difference. The good thing is if you're using premium storage for all the disk, it qualifies for 99.9% .9 SLA, availability SLA for the virtual machine, even though it is not inside the availability set. That is something very interesting. So 
in next video, we'll go ahead and dig the other options in the storage account. Well, thank you for watching and you have a good day. Bye-bye.